Uh, bring somebody with you tonight. The spirituals will be singing. The Kellys will be singing. The Spirit of God's going to be pouring out all over this place. We're going to have a good time in the Lord. So come back be with us tonight. Also, after the service this afternoon, for just a few moments, we're going to have a uh, just a short meeting over our Easter, coming up Easter, and what we're going to do, and then... Uh, uh, and about the piano fun, just a little short word about that. And then, uh, and then next Saturday, uh, we'll be at Lethbridge Hall cooking breakfast uh, to benefit the needy children. So come out and be with us from 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock. And uh, I think donations, if you want to donate, ought to be here by Wednesday night at the church. And so all the volunteers that want to come help be there at least by 6 o'clock Saturday morning. And we're praying for a great time next Saturday. Uh, Wednesday night, we'll be here for a Wednesday night Bible study, 6.30. Come out and be with us. We've been having a great time on Wednesday night. So come out and join us. We're going to have a good time this Wednesday. And I want you to be in prayer that God will send and raise up a uh, youth leader uh, for the young people. And that will help out that God will send just the right person. And uh, I tell you, that comes from my, some of my most favorite people. Hello, Melanie. Yeah. <laughs> there's Melanie. Oh, there. Praise God. Amen. Uh, and Brother Keith's with him. Amen. <laughs> Let's get that big hands for you. Mr. Franklin. We have to see you all in all the business. Let's get more of the hands for you. Amen. Let's see you. Maybe after a while we'll get Malachi to sing something for us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So be praying for that and uh, be praying for the church, pray for one another, and we desire your prayers as uh, God is leading us and, uh, and that we're going in the right direction and pray for the church. Most of all, we need to pray for the lost that are not saved. And uh, you can get to heaven with cancer here on this earth. You won't take it with you, but you, you you can have cancer and die and be saved and go to heaven. Amen. But without Jesus, you can be perfectly healthy and die and spend an eternity in hell. But today we've come to get good news. Jesus is still on the throne. Amen. I said he's still on the throne. Amen. And he's still able to save to the other man. Place today, no matter what you may be bound by, Jesus can break that bondage. He can break those chains. And there's nothing too big for our God. Nothing too hard for Him. We just got to get out of the way and let God be God. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's pray today for the sick. And we've got so many needs all over this church family that needs Amen. prayer. You know who they are. So we need to lift them up. And this morning, I'd ask you all again and would. Let's gather around this altar as we go to the Lord in prayer today. And just lift up your heart to the Lord. Every need that you have. Come on, right now. Make your way up to the altar. All that can and would. And let's go to the Lord in prayer. And let's come in and press in and pray this morning. I want you to be praying for our nation as well. And be praying for our leaders. And uh, be praying for our state. And our state leaders. And our communities. And all our community leaders this morning. The Bible commands us to pray for them. Whether we agree with them or not. And we lift them up in prayer. Hallelujah.
worship you. And Lord, we thank you that we gather in one mind, in one accord, under one spirit today, in one faith, in one Lord. And Lord, today we ask you, Lord, that you be every knee that's in this place today. The Lord, upon every individual, upon every home and family. Lord, we pray today that you touch those that are sick, God. Touch those that are in the hospitals. Those, Lord, that are on the sick beds. Lord, they be at home, God. Let be the divine touch from you. And Lord, that your healing power will flow. Her comes thrown down, Lord, right where they are. And that healing spring, God, will begin to move upon their bodies. And Lord, you raise them up on that sick bed. And Lord, you restore their health. And God, until that moment you cheer people in, give them grace that would be sufficient to meet every need. And God, most of all, we pray for those that are spiritually sick this morning, those that are lost without you, those that have wandered away from you, God. Lord, we just pray that, God, you would reach down and move upon their hearts, that you would restore our right fellowship with them. And God, today, we ask you to convict those lost sinners, Lord. And Lord, that they will call upon your name before it's everlasting. Too late. Lord, we know it's not your will that any should perish. Lord, it is our will, Lord, that we wouldn't see anyone die lost. But Lord, help us to do all that we can to try to win those to your kingdom. And Lord, I pray that you would empower this church, Lord, with that power from on high, that Lord, we would be filled with the Spirit of God, and we be filled, Lord, with your power. And Lord, help Lord, uh, Lord, to help those, Lord, in the community uh, that need the help from you, Lord. Uh, and God, today we ask you to bless the service uh, that your anointing come in this place, Lord. Uh, and Lord, may you just pour out your spirit, Lord, upon us. Uh, and God, I pray you move upon the singing and the music, move upon the preaching of your word today. Uh, and when it comes time for the most important part of the service, the invitation, uh, I pray decisions would be made, God, and would benefit souls. And Lord, we thank you and praise you for what you're going to do, and what you're doing right now, and what you have done. And we ask you all in the name that is above every name. The name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. this morning. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
to come forward. And Number 84. Come on in. Uh, tires and uh, praise God. I tell you, I'm glad for what I feel, aren't you? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I wouldn't, I wouldn't right. pay a penny for right. something I couldn't feel. Glory to God. Amen. But I'm glad I got something that I can feel away down deep. You Amen. hear what I'm saying this morning? Praise I'm glad I got something that yeah. goes real. Something that I know God gave. And it's away down deep Thank in my you. soul. Oh.
that money. We shall see Jesus in the air. He's coming after you and me. Joy is ours to share. Then what we trust in heaven will be when the saints arise. We're headed for that jubilee. Yonder in the skies. Oh, what singing. And oh, what shouting. On that happy morning when we all shout.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You can call somebody else and say, well, I can help you. That's down in the blue. And you know, uh, that's God working. It's God working in the background. Amen. I'm just so thankful that I'm a child of His. And uh, like I said, if you don't know God, I, I, all it takes is just for you to say, I'm here, God. Take care of me. Let me give it to you. But y'all pray for me. But I try to be a better father, a better husband, and a better grandfather of my family. Wayne, could you
that uh, our spring revival meeting is coming yeah. up May the 4th and <laughs> the 6th. want you to mark your calendars down for that. And uh, and I trust you are praying. And I mean blessing <laughs> in and praying for true, genuine revival to break Amen. loose in this Amen. place. Yes. And we need revival. All over this land. We need it. I'm glad that they've been up in Asbury having revival. I'm Amen. glad in other places. But we need it all over the land. Amen. We need it all over this community. We need it all over the place. And we need a touch of God's hand to stir. Oh, yeah. And God wants to move through His people. Yes, he, he wants to move through His church. We are the body of Christ. Yes. We're the living organism of Christ. We're His body. And uh, we need to let Christ move through us. And the times of playing church and playing fast and loose are over. And it's high time now, Peter said, to wake out of sleep. And for now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed. And so it's time now for the church to rise up. And, uh, and Casey going to sing a song and then... I just feel a word burning down in me. Oh. Hey, now you better just grab a hold of something and hang on. I just stopped by on my way home. Hallelujah. I'm just passing through. I'm going to leave one of these days. Amen. Hallelujah. Give this case today.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lord, I hope that make you be glad that you saved this morning. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. If you have your Bibles this morning, and let me say once again, we're so thankful that you come out with us today and worship the Lord. Turn with us to the ninth chapter of the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 9. And I want to say once again, come back and be with us tonight at 530 for the spirituals and the Kellys. And we're going to have a great time in the Lord tonight. And we're just so looking forward to it. Matthew chapter 9. I want you to go down to verse 23. Matthew chapter 9, verse 23. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And when Jesus came into the ruler's house, talking about Jairus, and saw the musicians and the people making a noise, he said unto them, Jesus said, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleeping. Amen. 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 And they laughed him to scorn. But when the people were put forth, Jesus went in and took her by the hand. I got to say that one more time. Yes. Amen. Amen. Jesus went in. And took her by the hand and the maid arose. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And the fame hereof went abroad into all that land. And I will preach for a few moments this morning on the message when life touches death. I said, when life touches death, when life walks in the room, things will change. Amen. You're not hearing me. Amen. Amen. I said, when life walks in the room, yes. things will change. Yes. Glory to God. Praise God. I pray you get a hold of that this morning. Yes. When life touches death. Yes. Heavenly Father, I come before you once again today in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I ask you this morning that your mighty power of the anointing of the Holy Spirit yes. would cover this place and flow through this place. And Lord, I ask you to immerse me in that great anointing. And Lord, you would consume me in the power of the Holy Ghost. And Lord, I pray that I wouldn't be seen or heard. But God, this morning that you would be heard, you would be felt, and you would be experienced in this place today. And Lord, I ask you that you wouldn't let one word that you put upon my lips to fall to the ground this morning. But God, that you would anoint every ear to hear your word today. And God, I pray that we'll find a place that God, it can be lodged in our hearts and this seed of your work and find a place that it would be planted. And Lord, that it will take root and grow us. And Lord, I pray that we can get a hold of your word this morning. And God, I pray whatever need that needs to be met in this place, whatever purpose your word has, I pray that God, your word would go forth in power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit. And God, I pray you would shake us to the core of our hearts. And Lord, everything that's not right in our lives would be shaken to the ground. And Lord, the only things that would remain are the things that are built upon your kingdom. And God, we ask you this morning in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. And all God's people say, Amen. 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 Give the Lord Amen. Jesus one more big praise this morning. For he's good. Come on, it's all out for praise. Now, I think it's still we used to go, we don't go with revivals like we used to and places that we used to go to evangelize and preach. A lot of places we used to go, you know, the church would get some of them in the church would get upset. When somebody over here would start praising him, and somebody over here would start shouting, and somebody over here would start clapping, you always got one or two in the crowd that those kind of movements of God, it rubs them the wrong way. Yeah. And you know, I always felt sorry for people. I, I never wanted, I know preachers, they sometimes get in the spirit with a fuss. And they'll complain and they'll fuss at the people. I never wanted to fuss at the folk. I just always felt sorry for them. Because I just come to the place in my life where I have experienced Christ. You know, when you get 
to a place in your life uh, where you can experience God. Uh, I'm not talking about just hearing him preach. Uh, I'm not talking about just feeling him. Uh, I'm talking about having an experience yes, with amen. God. Uh, and the church that there needs yes, an experience God. with God. Uh, we need God. an encounter amen. with the most high God. Yes. Amen. Now we see here a story in the word of God. Uh, here's a man by the name of Jerks. Uh, the Bible says that his daughter was on her deathbed. Uh, she was at first on her sickbed. Uh, she was sick. But Jerks, uh, he went and he sought out after one uh, who is the life giver. His little girl who was 12 years old. Uh, I'm sure she meant so much she was probably her daddy's world. Uh, and he was he was gripped with fear. He was gripped with doubt. They didn't know what to do. Uh, but he sought out after one whom he heard about. Uh, one that he knew uh, might have come and fix the problem. Uh, hallelujah. We've all been there. Maybe it's been one of our little children that's been sick. Uh, and maybe they were even sick to the point of almost dying. Uh, and sometimes uh, when the dark clouds roll in. Uh, and sometimes when the storms of life uh, begin to come in. Uh, and sometimes it's hard to see uh, through the thick dark clouds. Uh, and we sometimes forget uh, about the promises that God uh, has made Amen. us in His Word. Uh, that Amen. He is able yes. and it's to do exceedingly abundantly uh, above that you and I can think or ask and we forget that it's according I said according yeah. to the power that worked in us Amen. and sometimes we'll forget Amen. that Jesus is the way maker Amen. I said we'll forget sometimes he's a mountain mover and it's hard to see through the big dark thick clouds and the storm clouds that are rolling in and we forget the word of God and we forget of what God can do. But I've come by this way this morning to encourage somebody here and to lift somebody up and edify somebody to let you know maybe you're going through something that's terrible right now. But I've come to tell you there is one this morning. He is the word. He was the word made in flesh. Chapter 8, there was a leper 
anything else because the devil would love nothing more than to take your mind off of his right. word today. And somebody I believe needs this word this morning. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, Jesus yeah. put forth his hand toward that leper. Yeah. And the Bible says that it touched him. Yeah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says his leprosy what? was cleansed. Yeah. Leprosy yeah. was a type of yeah. sin. Yeah. I tell you, if you're full of sin this morning, one touch from him. Yeah.
gospel music with the McCubbins family and others. I never said a word to nobody. Now, you probably wouldn't believe that. I didn't talk much. My tongue was bad. Yeah. I, I didn't have nothing to talk about. I, I was dead inside. I was cold. My life was going to lay out in that coffin. Hallelujah. But one Sunday morning, I met one, this very same one who spit on his fingers and put his finger in the ears of the
conversation. And Jesus looked upon her and he was moved with compassion. And the Bible says that Jesus looked at her and said, weep not. And the Bible says that Jesus went over to that coffin and he only did was touch that coffin and that little boy rose up.
Jesus, she done died. And so she's laying there on her bed dead. But Jesus told Jerry, he said, I'll come with you. Aren't you glad that's the kind of God we serve? Amen. He never told us one way. He never told us one way. He never told us back on me. Jesus went with him. But the story gets even better. Because there's a little interruption between the story. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh. Yeah. My good friend, Brother Billy Curl, preached a message one time. A miracle on the way to the miracle. And I've never forgotten it. Hallelujah. And she, Jesus, went. He was heading towards Jairus' home. That little girl's done dead. But on the way there, all the fame and everybody heard about this man Jesus and what he could do. And so they all got around him and crowded him. I mean, he was this big star according to the world. Yeah. And they all got around him. But out of that whole multitude, there was one little Amen. lady. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 One little lady. Amen. Something had to happen before we got to Jairus' house. Yeah. There was one oh, little lady no. who had been to every doctor Hi. in the world. Amen. She had tried every medicine under the sun. Ooh. I don't say that there, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with medicine. I'm not saying anything wrong with doctors. But what I'm saying this morning is when you come down to the end of it, there's only one. Amen. Yeah. Amen. She would spend everything she'd had. Yes, amen. But she had enough faith. And she was going to press through that crowd. And I'm going to tell you, when you've got faith like that, faith says, I'll do what it takes to get to him. Faith says, I'll do what it takes to get to the master. Because I know, if he can't touch me, I'll just reach out and touch the him. Oh, my God. Amen. And she pressed through that crowd. And I believe she was down on her knees. Because the Bible says she reached out and touched the border of his garment. The hem. She was going to do what it took to get to Jesus. Amen. Amen. We got folks today to care less if Jesus moves in their life or not. Right. Amen. 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 We got people who can care less if they have an experience with them or not. Right. I tell you, I'm glad I made it real in my life. Amen. He's become real to me. Hallelujah. I mean, coming to church is just a benefit of it. Right. Amen. That's right. Amen. You know, Amen. Amen. But when you got it every day, it just makes Sundays better. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. And so she reached out and Jesus said, Who touched me? And she was, I'm sure, frightened to death. He said, I feel virtues run out of me. Come on. And she, he turned around and she looked at her and said, Daughter, I mean that fountain of blood that had been flowing for 12 years. And according to the people of the, uh, to the customs of that day, she was unceremonial, she was ceremonially unclean. She was an outcast to society. But to this one, who is the life? Who is the resurrection? She was a God. And that kind of a blood that had been hemorrhaging for 12 years had dried up. And what the doctors couldn't do. And what the medicine couldn't do.
And they hired the mourners to come in, paid to come in and mourn. It was just hypocrisy. Paid to do something. They weren't truly mourning. But they looked off into the distance. And they saw one coming. I done ripped a hole in my shirt sleeve. <laughs> All right, God. Hallelujah. <laughs> they looked off into the distance. They seen one coming. Yes, already. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, and they have to sing that song. There's a promise. Coming down. Coming down. Amen. Praise the Lord. Some of you got it. Yes, amen. There's a promise. Coming down that dusty road. That was coming down. That old dusty road.
That's right. And I'll pray for your soul that the life will walk in your room one day and touch your dead corpse hallelujah, and raise you up off of the bed of your deadness of trespasses and sins and will quicken you and make you alive in the Lord. And then you'll understand why I can shout. You'll understand why I can Oh, 
some old dead beat religion, but when you touched me, you gave me something that's alive. Something that is real that I can feel. And I'm thankful, God, that you love me enough to reach down to the depths of sin and pull me out and give me new life. God, I don't know the needs in this building here today, but you do, Lord. And I'm asking you right now that you speak to every heart and every life. Lord, I said that maybe there's some here, Lord, they remember what it was when they were saved. They had such a power, they were so excited. But Lord, they allowed all the things to come in. And Lord, it's a become a distraction. I ask you to help them this morning. Lord, if there be any here that's never been saved, I pray that convicting power of the Holy Ghost would wrap around them and make them realize, Lord, there is no life outside of you. God, I pray for every family in this building. Lord, I pray over the homes that might be broken. I pray over the lives that might be broken. I pray over the hearts that might be broken. And God, you would heal that brokenness. And Lord, we love you with all that we have and all that we are. You mean more to us than in the whole world. We love you so much. Lord, we don't only love you, we're in love with you. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This morning, as they say, if you need a touch from his hand, won't you step out and head on? Make your way up to this altar. Christ will meet you right where you are. He'll touch you. If you got problems as a whole, bring it to you.
and prayer changes things. And I thank you that our faith will make a way. Lord, we love you today. And I thank you, Lord, for being our Savior, our Redeemer. For when I was dead, no hope. You stepped in my room. In the moment that life walked in my room, death had to go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.